take a wild walk through today's Moscow, a place where money and unfettered excess flourish side by side with abject poverty. Neon-lit casinos and blacked-out alleys, begging babushkas, chauffeured oligarchs, corrupt politicians, rich and poor locked together in an uncomfortable embrace, all the result of two decades on the crackpipe of economic and political transformation, piled on top of 60 years of Soviet terror and hundreds of years of czarist rule. This is a place where the strong prey on the weak, a place where there is a need for a man like Alexei Volkovoy. Volk, dead mother, disappeared father, and five years of killing and worse in Chechnya have shaped him into the ambiguous man he is today. Said to be close to the powerful General Nemstov and the Azeri gangster Maxim Abdulayev, Volk is known to traffic in pornography and drugs and black market art. The Hermitage Museum, the home of the Tsars in St. Petersburg, built on the backs of serf laborers three centuries ago, now the repository of great works of art acquired by purchase and conquest. When the iron fist of the Soviet state opened, a new Russian art market developed, a market awash in forgeries and stolen masterpieces, where rich men spill blood for the right to claim priceless works. There is a rumor of a lost Leonardo masterpiece, Leda and the Swan, last inventoried as part of the French royal collection in 1694, thought burned on the orders of the king's mistress. Now, maybe, it is here in the catacombs, a treasure hidden by the exiled sister of Peter the Great. <laughs>